CataractCoach.com. Cataract after prior parts plan of vitrectomy. You can see there's some damage to the posterior capsule, so now what should you do? You can see that big defect there on the posterior capsule in this relatively young patient. Now, that's not a posterior subcapsular cataract. It's not even a posterior polar cataract. It was damaged from the vitrector during the uh, pars plantar vitrectomy. So getting the rex is done here, the question is, well, how do you do this case? And you do have to treat this case differently. So very, very gentle, minimal hydro dissection. I'd actually focus just on hydro delineation. You basically want to treat this case as if the patient had a posterior polar cataract. Because you know that site of the opacity there on the posterior pole of the lens, that could be damage to the capsule. It may even be partially perforated. But certainly the capsule in that one area is weak. So you can see the surgeon here is not just doing bimanual IA to take out the lens material. So again, really don't want to do any hydro dissection here. And then the lens is relatively soft in this young patient. So just using a bimanual IA is going to be sufficient to remove all of the lens material here. So going around, the nice thing too with bimanual is, of course, you have 360 axis. So as you take this out, look carefully at that uh, capsule. Make sure that you're not going to cause a bigger rip there. And so trying to free this thing up here, you can also do a visco dissection. If you've seen any of my videos about posterior polar cataracts, you know the visco dissection where they disperse the viscoelastic is my preferred technique here. Now, obviously, we sped the video up here so we can get through it pretty quickly. And so now the surgeon is going to switch hands, put a little viscoelastic in there to not let the uh, AC collapse, which is a good idea. And so now the aspirator is in the left hand, and you can see good access here. And now going all around 360, and you want to bring this thing up and get it away. Because if the posterior capsule opens up during this, remember, you could very easily drop lens material in the vitreous cavity. The patient had a full part plane of vitrectomy, so there's no vitreous left. The back of the eye is filled with aqueous, right? And so as a result, you can have the whole thing drop very quickly. So I want to get this thing up, out of the capsule bag, in the anterior chamber even. And then once that thing is up, just aspirate it down. There you go. And now looking back there, the poster capsule looks like it is intact, but they have that one spot there where it looks pretty damaged. So what should you do here? Well, you can go ahead and just put the lens in, or you can also do a poster capsule rex. Remember, there's a, already had a full vitrectomy, so there's going to be no vitreous prolapse. So this, this is a case where doing a posterior capsule rex would be pretty straightforward. You just poke in the capsule here when the capsule is full of viscoelastic and then create a round capsule, uh, capsular rexus in that posterior capsule here. But you got to be careful here on that one spot. You can just leave it alone. It's okay to just yag it later. That's an easy solution as well. So there's the viscoelastic going inside the eye. And you can see now time for the main incision. There's a diamond keratome being used to create a main incision. Uh, get the eye well in the eye. And then once that eye well goes in the bag... Leave it be, and again, easy enough to do a YAG laser capsulotomy at a later date. Uh, I would wait at least a month for most of these cases because that gives time for the capsule bag to shrink wrap down and kind of firmly hold the eye well in place. Some people would wait a little bit longer. So here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece of acrylic lens being placed in the injector. And again, you can see the patient has the, a prior uh, incisions there for the vitrectomy. And now delivering that lens inside the capsule bag, there you go, get that into position. And then we can finish this up again later with just doing a YAG laser capsulotomy. So if you have a patient like this with damage to the posterior capsule, you got to treat these patients differently. If you want to go there too forcefully and do that big hydro dissection, you may get a break in that posterior capsule. And now a lot of patients are having a tremendous number of intravitreal injections prior to cataract surgery for diabetic issues or macular degeneration or vein occlusion. And so those patients, you have to be careful as well because there can be iatrogenic damage to the posterior capsule. So look very carefully at the red reflex on these patients prior to booking them for cataract surgery so you know what to expect. So here, patient has a very nice outcome. And again, you can just do a YAG laser capsulotomy at a later date. Nice case. Thank you for submitting it.